Hey guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marina. I was reading an article today on Scuba Board, and you can look it up if you want to. It's FFM users, how do you wear a hood? And I'll put in the description below, I'll put a link to this article so you can read it. But basically what the guy is wanting to know, for full face mask users, how do you wear a full face mask and a hood at the same time and get a proper seal? Okay, and for this, the purpose of this discussion, there's a couple things that we need to talk about. First of all, with Boyle's Law, anytime we go under added pressure or more atmospheric pressure than what we are, Boyle's Law tells us as pressure increases, volume begins to decrease. And what that means is, as I, as I go underwater, this neoprene, which is just full of tiny little air cells, as pressure increases, those air cells are being compressed. That means that neoprene is going to be compressed. And if I've got a hood on with a full face mask on top of it, as that hood compresses, that mask is going to come loose and it's actually going to leak. It could possibly free flow. And it, as it does leak, it's going to let water in. It kind of defeats the whole purpose of the full face mask. So what are some of the options that we can do with a full face mask and a hood to get a proper seal? And we're going to look at those different options. One of the options is, of course, is to go back the way we do it with the traditional style mask. Put your hood on, put your mask on, then you're going to pull your hood out and let it rest on top of the mask skirt all the way around so that the skirt seals to you, the hood seals over top of the mask skirt. That's one option. Option number two, put the hood on, put the mask on, then take your marker and line the outside of that skirt all the way around. Just mark it on your hood. Okay. Then you'll take your mask off, pull your hood off, and you'll actually cut it. Option number three, you can get a specifically designed hood that is built for a full face mask. In this particular one, there's a wide surface area. It's made of glide skin material, both inside and out, and it's not gonna compress at the same rate as the neoprene wheel. That is another option. Your last option, the fourth option, of course, is to use a latex style hood. There are several dry suit companies out there that make latex hoods pre-attached. Some you can get attached aftermarket. But what that latex does, it gives a good solid skill for your, or seal for your head, plus the mass is going to seal. It's not going to compress. Now, there's pros and cons to each method. We'll start with the latex method. Although it's a good seal, it protects the diver in a hazmatic environment, the problem is there's absolutely no warmth with that latex. So you're going to have to wear under underneath that latex hood, you're going to have to wear some type of insulated barrier, a beanie, maybe a toboggan, or some other type of system to keep your head warm. Okay? The problem with a standard mask where you pull the, the hood out, you got your mask on, the, and the hood's going to seal up over the mask skirt, kind of like that, that's a good solid seal. The problem is with thicker gloves, you're not going to be able to pull that up over the top. You're really going to have to rely on your buddy to preset it. Another issue is if you ever have to take your mask off underwater, it's cold, you got thick gloves, you're not, it's, almost, it's virtually impossible to be able to pull it out, put the mask on, pull the hood out, put it on top, you're not going to get that good seal underwater. Your mask could leak. That is a major problem, especially in cold water. The other issue is when you go to clear the mask, if you do the purge method and you hit that purge, air is going to shoot up into the mask, it's going to shoot up in here into the hood, and without any vents on top of the hood, you're going to have that cone head effect. It's going to bubble up on you, and you're going to lose the insulated factor of the hood itself. It is an option. That's just a con to it. Sealing the mask on top of a hood that is not designed for a full face mask, we have the problem of Boyle's Law. As pressure increases, air volume decreases, so the density is going to get thicker, and the mask is going to compress, and we're going to lose the seal. Now, you can combat that simply by tightening the mask up as it happens. The problem is, is as we make our ascent, Boyle's Law reverses. Pressure decreases, so volume increases. As it increases, that mask is going to get excuse me, extremely tight on you. So you're going to constantly have to manipulate it, just like we do our BCs, just like we do our dry suits. So there's many different options and ways to seal a full face mask and hoods. And we're going to look at a couple different ones using these two style hoods. We'll start with this one. This one's made by a company called Seasoft. They're a great company and make great products, but they specifically make hoods for full face masks. Like I said, through the Boyle's Law, as pressure increases and volume decreases, that's the problem with neoprene. It's going to compress. You're going to lose that seal. But with this glide skin that they put, they put a good wide surface area here to seal that full face mask, and it's glide skin inside and outside. And you're not going to have that compression rate like you would with standard neoprene. So that mask is going to seal. So let's take a look at and see what that looks like.
Okay. So as you can see, I have the mask sealed on top of the glide skin itself. And this glide skin, once again, does not compress like the standard neoprene. So this is one good option that I can go with. But if you don't want to spend the money on a mask or on a hood that is specifically designed for full face mask, you can always go back to the traditional way. All you got to do is take the hood, pull it out to where the mask will actually seal to yourself. It takes a little bit of effort, but I can pull it out to where it's going to seal all the way around. With thicker gloves, you're really going to have to rely on your buddy to do this. And of course, underwater, if you ever have to take your mask off, you're, it's going to be virtually impossible to do this by yourself. And I simply work all the way around the mask, pulling that hood out, and letting it rest on top of the mask skirt. And here, you can clearly see where the mask skirt seals to my skin, the hood comes on top. You can see the outline of the mask skirt. That is another option, okay? Get the hood receipt, and I'll show you a third option with this particular setup. One more option is, once I have it sealed and put on and adjusted properly, I can take a marker and mark the line all the way around the skirt, all the way around the mask. Once I have that marked, I can simply pull the hood off. Now, like I said, you'd want to do this on a traditional neoprene hood, not one that's already designed for a full face mask. Then you can cut that line out. That way you still have the insulated warmth of the hood, but you have a wider surface area to seal the mask to your face and still have the hood. That is another option. With traditional hoods, now this is a custom hood from OS Systems. Uh, I had this hood made for me. I love this hood. There is a downside to it. It does not work with a full face mask. So anytime that I'm in um, colder environments where I need a good thick hood, I, I almost have to resort to the Seasoft. But I'm going to show you one more option with a hood similar to this or, or a way that you can use a hood like this if it's got a, a specific design or a specific way that it works. Okay, with this particular hood, like I said, it is custom built. So I have a good seal all the way around, but like I said, it is neoprene. The hood's not going to, or the mask is going to seal, but as soon as the hood compresses, I'm going to lose that seal. I can pull it out, let the mask seal to my face or to my skin, and then put it on top. But just to show you what it looks like. Initially, you can see I have a good solid seal, but like I said, as pressure increases, Boyle's Law says pressure increases, volume decrease. The air cells in here will start decreasing, that hood will compress, and I will lose that seal. So how can we use a standard hood with a full face mask without cutting it or doing any of the other methods? Depending on the manufacturer, a lot of them nowadays are making, if you turn it inside out, they're making their hoods where the interior has that glide skin. And what that does is that seals to you to make that watertight seal. When I wear this hood, I hardly ever get my hair wet. That's a great sealing feature to this. So what I can do is turn it inside out to where I have the glide skin on the outside, and now I have the same type of glide skin that comes with the Seasoft to a glide skin for the full face mask. To where the Seasoft has it inside and out, this one only has it on the inside, so I'm still gonna have a little bit of compression of the material, but not quite as much as with a standard. So check your hood out, see if it's got this material on the inside. If it does, you don't have to go out and buy another hood, just simply flip your hood inside out and try it. It's very important to put this stuff on in a pool, try it first there. Once you've got a good solid seat, you feel comfortable and it's comfortable on you, then go get an open water environment and you want to try it between 20 to 30 feet. Now remember, your biggest volume difference is going to be between 0 and 33 feet of salt water or for fresh water, 0 to 34 feet. Or if you like metric, 
zero to 10 meters. That's gonna be our biggest uh, change in volume due to Boyle's Law. So you wanna try it out in those depths. See if you have a leak, take a camera, take another diver with you and, and see if there's any leaks coming out. You can always fix it after the fact or you can try different methods to get a good solid seal. So guys, I appreciate you watching this video. I kinda hope that helps some people out there uh, on the different options with a full face mask and a hood. How do we get a seal to it? Uh, there, there's many different ways. There's no one right or wrong way that's going to work for everybody. It's really personal comfort for you, uh, what equipment you have. You may have to buy equipment. You may be able to modify your equipment, but practice with it. Get your hood, get your full face mask, go get in the pool and try it. Once you're comfortable, go make you a dive anywhere, from, say from 0 to 30 feet, 0 to 33, 34, whatever you want to use your calculations on, and, and, and try and see how it works. And then get... Uh, really comfortable with it and then of course go diving that's, that's the best thing out there so guys I really appreciate you watching this video please make sure you follow us on Twitter you like us on Facebook pin us on Pinterest subscribe to us here on YouTube and as always guys we appreciate your business